Boys on 2 video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm consistently dropping some high kill bangers here on Almazra. I do got to say, if you are coming from more of a rebirth island background, this map's definitely a lot to navigate at first. I'm going to be showing you guys a super easy way on how to just consistently drop high kill bangers on this map. Before we get into that, I just want to say I am live on Twitch every single night and I want to shout out the Nodi gang. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. All right, guys, so I'm actually just going to do a little bit of a voiceover for the first part of this gameplay just so I can explain the strategy and hopefully you guys can get something out of it. I'm definitely no cup of Joe, bro. I'm not trying to teach boomers how to play COD here. So bear with me, my teaching's not very good. But the gameplay that you guys are actually seeing, I did record this off stream and I chose this gameplay because it's not the most perfect. So it's probably closer to what a lot of you guys are going to get on your first couple of attempts using this strategy. Don't get me wrong, no, we still dropped a high kill bang. We still dropped a little 20 piece in solos. It's actually a ton for solos. Solos in this game just plays really slow, but the strategy definitely helps speed it up a decent bit. But with the strategy, as you guys have seen, I do tend to drop at a hotter drop on the map, which seems pretty obvious if you're trying to drop some high kill bangers. Some of the spots I do recommend, uh, I mean, the most obvious one is probably observatory. It's middle of the map. You can kind of float to wherever after the rotations are pretty easy. Also, another decent spot that you can do is you can also drop like high rise, drop at the cash registers, get a lot of money off rib, get your guns. And obviously your primary focus stays the same as it probably was before. You just want to try to get as many kills as you can off rip. Also, while you're dropping kills, you definitely want to stack up your money. I know there's not a lot of money in this game, so you don't really need to worry about it because the strat actually gets you a lot of money later. Pretty much after you're done collecting a decent bit of kills off rip, as you guys are seeing in the gameplay, it doesn't go too, too well for me. I actually end up in the gulag pretty early. But I think around the time when there's three minutes, 45 seconds left in the first zone, some strongholds on the map are going to open up and you definitely want to make this your primary focus after you collect a few kills off rip. And while you're at the stronghold, you're definitely going to get a good bit of cash. So you're going to want to hold on to that for the next part of the strategy. But you guys are going to see in the gameplay, after you do defeat the stronghold and you are able to collect your loadout, you actually do not want to take your custom loadout slot. You actually want to hit the right bumper on your controller. I'm not sure what it is if you're on keyboard and mouse, but you want to hit the right bumper on your controller. And you actually want to select the very last default class. Because for some reason in the normal class apps that you make, depending on what perk package you pick, the last perk actually doesn't work. It doesn't activate. But when you pick the default class ups, it's actually bugs. So that way it does activate. And the last default class actually has a perk called bird's eye. I'm sure you guys are aware of it, what it does in multiplayer. But pretty much what it does in Warzone is that anytime the enemy gets a UAV, it actually acts as your UAV as well. So if you are playing solos and there's 150 people on the map, you can imagine you're going to get quite a bit of UAVs from people finding UAVs and then popping them. Keep in mind though, this strategy also does work pretty good in trios and quads and whatnot. But for solos, I will say it works a little bit too well. Now, obviously the next part of the strategy is to go and get your actual guns. You should have enough money from the stronghold to go and pick your two primary weapons up from the buy station individually. And there's also a good chance that you will have some leftover money for UAV as well that you can keep in your pocket. But the strategy works super, super well right now because obviously we are limited to how many UAVs we can buy from the buy station. So if you are getting a UAV every time someone else on the map pops one, it just comes in handy. But without further ado, I'm gonna just let the gameplay roll. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's gameplay. Be sure to watch till the very end. We do kind of mess it up a little bit, but we still drop an absolute banger. And you can definitely bet that we're gonna be dropping some 30 pieces and solos here using this strategy pretty soon. Like I said, if you guys are interested, feel free to follow me on Twitch. I go live there every single day as well. So if this helps you, I would appreciate a follow over there. But without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay.
I figured out this game finally, bro. Probably gonna die right here. I don't know where this kid is. I'm gonna drop a 30. No, somewhere right by you here. All right, somebody pop one for me. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Homie, I saw you. Not good. Mm, it's so awkward, bro. 